as we move down the list to our sensor calibration, I want to just make one call out. As we go through this, I'll be doing the calibration here on my bench. And when you do this, I recommend doing it in a somewhat open area away from metal objects and obstructions as those can lead to some magnetic interference. So I'll go ahead and start off by selecting compass. We'll leave our autopilot orientation set to none. You'll see here that it's asking us to, for each axis, rotate the drone in the proper orientation. So I've done the first, I'm going to go upside down. You'll notice how Q ground control can automatically detect the orientation. So I'm rotating, now I'm going to go to nose down. Then we'll go nose up. We'll go onto the left side. And then finally, we'll go to the right side. And we hear our tones and we see that we've had a successful compass calibration. I won't currently reboot the vehicle. I'll just go ahead and move down to the next step, which is the accelerometer. Autopilot orientation, once again, we have set to none. Go upside down. Nose down. Trying to hold this as still as possible. Nose up. Left side. And then right side. We'll move on to the level horizon setup. And then finally, for orientations, we want to leave the default of none. And now our sensors have been calibrated. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to reboot the vehicle. After a reboot, look at our sensors tab, see everything is ready. And then we'll move on to radio binding and setup.